stay. I didn't even leave the house. I was so out of it. Then I forgot to pick up my little Amy. She had to stay at the school and I lost custody of my child. And that's when I decided that I was gonna attend these meetings and, and get sober because she's worth it. And so am I. And today is day 82. Mm. Thank you, Emily. That, that was really great. Dante, would you like to share? Um, my name is Dante. Hi, Hi Dante. Dante. I want to thank you for inviting me out here tonight. Now, I could talk to you about the dangers of drug use and all that, but I don't think there's anything about using that you don't already know. Instead, I'd rather talk to you about myself and what helped me to stop. My mama died when I was a kid. I never knew my father. I spent a lot of time in and out of foster care. When I was 13, I joined a gang and started dealing. I tried not using. I kept telling myself, it was just a job. I didn't need no drugs. I was addicted to methamphetamines before my 14th birthday. When I turned 18, I hit the streets hard. I was broke, homeless, and a junkie. I stayed that way for the next 10 years until one night. I was down under the bridge on the Lower East Side. I was high on heroin. Days back then were just blurring together. I was sitting next to a dumpster trying to keep warm when I began hearing these screams.
crackhead stopped screaming. He beat him unconscious. And then he dropped him like rag dolls and turned over and looked at me. I almost pissed myself, I was so scared. I didn't want him thinking I had anything to do with the crackheads. I didn't rape anyone. I didn't bother no one. I could see his boots. Black money was in front of me. And then he grabbed me. He had a strong grip like a bear. You could see his eyes. Just black and dark. crying. I begged him not to hurt me. I told him I didn't do nothing. I told him that I was a two-bit junkie and nobody. I told him the truth. And then I heard something. Just a whisper before he let me go. You're not a nobody. I could feel his grip loosen. Wouldn't support me, so I fell back down to the gutters, right next to the dumpster where he found me. I wasn't the same after that night. I never wanted to be the same after that night. I wasted 15 years on nothing. I was a thug, a drug dealer, and ultimately a homeless junkie freezing his ass off next to a dumpster. No one should live that way. No one should ever want to live that way. I've been clean for the last five years. I work a job, I have a home, and I never go hungry. It took a life-shattering experience to make me want to change who I was. But it was the wake-up call that I needed. Hopefully none of you will ever need one.